Hello friends, it's my great pleasure to welcome you to my channel, Let's Say Graphics and Multimedia. My name is Rafi Yako right here and in today's video, I'm going to show you step by step on how to get free domain and how you can get cheap hosting service package, step by step tutorial without any slides. So let's see. Well, before we dive into the tutorial, if you're already into the channel, remember to click on that subscribe, turn on the notification bell so each time I post content, you will be notified. So with that being said, let's dive into the tutorial and see step by step on how to get free domain and how you get a cheap hosting provider service so welcome back friends so let's see how to get our domain and hosting service package from this particular website so first things for you need to make sure you log into your account so you can see right here i have successful login into my account so once you log in that is when you can start to work on your domain and hosting now for us to get a domain and hosting whether for your website or for a web mail so you have to come to the top right here where you see domain click on domains then you have to click on uh, register a new domain right click on it make sure you click on open link in new tab so it's going to open up this page so next thing you want to do is to make sure you come to the top right here where you see choose another category so you have to choose website hosting so i'm going to choose website hosting so these are the packages available on the site right here so from the top down below right here now the starter package from this site here is 1500 monthly and 15000 annually so the service package include 6 gig web space 30 gig bandwidth unlimited email accounts unlimited mysql and five subdomains for a starter pack so this simply means that for this starter pack you can create unlimited web mail so for this domain so let's take a look at the business pack if you have a micro business so medium business so a medium business package is good for this so you have 10 gig space 40 gig bandwidth unlimited email account and unlimited mysql and 10 sub domain all right so but if you go for a starter pack and your website traffic increase and you still have more stuff to upload on your site you can also upgrade so for a starter pack you can make use of this if you are about to start a new business so let's just go for order now for a starter pack so i'm going to click on order now so it's going to load up and take you into this page so it is very much important to read the instruction right here note fake inaccurate corporate client detail fraudulent domain person scheme peer-to-peer -peer, money doubling site cash group epa site bad clone site cryptocurrency site etc is not going to be work on this platform okay so a uh, uae site or any other site content that violates our terms of service will be suspended without any payment refund so you need to take note of that and know what you want to do next thing we want to do is to register our new domain what domain simply means is that a domain name is your unique name that single you out from the thousands of millions of websites on internet let's for instance let me make a new tab so i will make a new tab i will make use of address bar right here i will type in w dot let's say netherland.com so a netherland.com is a domain name of netherland which means that nobody can register this domain name for as long as this domain name is still exists the website is still very much available. Nobody can register the domain name again. That is just the meaning. Google.com is a domain name of Google company. YouTube.com is a domain name of YouTube company. So you have to look for a unique name for your own personal brand or for website or what have you before you can go ahead and register the domain name. So I want to believe that you must have your domain name from your hand right here so let's for instance uh we choose a domain name right here love like okay love like as our domain name so after you choose your domain name you need to work on your extension okay then extension right here has to do with dot com dot ng etc so if i click on extension you can see the available extension on this site right here so you scroll down and see everything such as .ng, .com, .net, .org, .info, .tv, bees, and uh, .com, .ng, etc. So extension is also important. Like this website here, free extension for .com, .ng, 
dot net dot ng dot org dot ng dot i dot ng dot name dot ng dot mobile dot ng dot seg dot ng so this simply means that all these extensions are free so if you use this extension for your domain name you are not going to pay any dime for domain name so we have to go back to extension right here so under the extension i will choose dot com dot ng right here because it is included right here as part of a free uh, domain registration so if you want to pay for domain registration then you can choose anyone outside all this one that is free so you are going to pay for extension so uh, for domain name and extension so once uh, you choose your name your domain name and your extension next thing you want to do is to make sure you click on continue wow so you can see lovelike.com.ng is very much available okay and uh, we are paying just 1000 naira to host this domain name and extension for one year okay next thing we want to do is to scroll down and if you would like to choose from different options right here if you don't like the one that you use that is available you can choose options right here and any option you choose from this point here you will see the price in front so like this one here lovelight.and.gov.ng per year is one is ten thousand naira but if you satisfy with the available one you choose for your business which is the one right here at the top then next thing you want to do is to make sure you just scroll down and ignore the variety given to you as an option by the company and then you come down below here make sure you click on continue so right here we have it registered now choose your billing circle so how long do you want to be paid do you want to be paid per month or per quarterly or semi-annually etc so for me i just i decide to choose billing circle per annum so which means that i'll be paying fifteen thousand naira to host this particular domain so if you check out if you check on this particular other summary so we have annual billing of fifteen thousand uh, as our starter pack so you can see it right here so i'm paying the sum of sixteen thousand one hundred and twenty five to host this particular website now there is available add-ons add-ons simply means a feature or some external feature that you can that can be used to enhance your website performance and website security so you can decide to add any of the add-ons right here that is available but if you are not interested to add any of the add-ons right here just come here and make sure you click on continue then domain configuration following this option and setting an available for the domain you have chosen require field are uh, indicated with just mark so just come here and make sure you tick on dns management free then click on continue all right so you will be taken to your total fee right here which is 16,125 per annual this means that once i make this payment i'm going to pay another money in the next 12 months calendar so we can scroll down and see all the payment information so the name you use for registration your address your phone number your email address everything is going to be on the payment page right here now the payment method available here we have there is flutter wave pay stack then none so if you want to use any of this option you have uh, if you want to use pay stack just select on pay stack and then you will be make payment with your debit or credit card if you use none of the option this simply means that you will get the company account and pay direct into q server web hosting company account so but i choose uh pay stack so you can just pay automatically now you have to come down here make sure you click on i have read and agree to the terms of service then click on checkout so at the checkout right here you can check all the details so this is your invoice number and uh, the status is unpaid so for you to make payments just click on pay now so you can see the option to make payment with fearful card visa card or mastercard by pay stack so just click on pay now and fill in your card detail then you will be automatically issue an invoice then you can download your invoice and then you can use the invoice to chat the customer support on the on the site so once you make payment successful sometimes it takes like 48 hours or 24 hours before they send you your login 
detail your login detail to your cpanel into the email address you use to register on the site so this is very much important because immediately you make the payment then they will send you your login detail into your email address then they will send you the username and the password to have access to your cpanel whereby you can use to start building your website or create your web mail so this is how to pay for domain and web hosting step-by-step -step tutorial i hope you really got follow for this video if you find this video useful give this video a big thumb up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tutorial like this thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video bye for now